Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. We're going to talk today about hyperglycemia. So that basically means hyper is too much, uh, and then your glycemic control is basically your blood sugar. So uh, hyperglycemia is that you have the blood sugar is too high. So how can this happen? Unfortunately, our standard American diet is very unhealthy. It's very uh, rich in simple carbohydrates and sugar and it can put a lot of stress on your body's ability to uh, do something with that sugar so uh, you can get high blood sugar levels uh, ultimately it can lead to diabetes uh, but what's been interesting about really studying these um, issues that we're having with our health is that when you have the high blood sugar you tend to think oh I could get diabetes, but you can also get obesity, but you can also get heart disease. You can also get cancer and you can also get Alzheimer's. So what we're learning is that the things that are detrimental to what we had considered sort of a single disease process, like historically high sugar diabetes, we're now seeing is, is really associated with your risk for all of these diseases. So that's maybe the, the downside, but the plus side, which is I think great, is that when you do something right for avoiding diabetes, you're also doing something right to avoid uh, heart disease and cancer and Alzheimer's and fatty liver and obesity, all these things that, these degenerative diseases that are factually making Americans so unhealthy. So. Uh, a little change in your diet can go a very long way. Now, what can happen? What might you notice if you have high blood sugar? You can definitely have uh, fatigue and brain fog. Um, you can have headaches. Uh, you can also be uh, suffering from excess urination, feeling very, very thirsty, like you patients come in and say, I just can't seem to get enough water, I'm urinating all the time, and that's sort of a classic sign uh, to check for uh, diabetes. And, and factually, hyperglycemia can become life-threatening. It can get so out of control uh, and, and put you into a coma. So it's not something you want to avoid. You definitely want to check your blood sugar levels. Also a sign that things are getting out of hand is you can have a, a fruity smelling breath on someone. It's not something you tend to be able to notice on yourself, but if somebody says, oh, your breath smells so sweet, and you, it's not like you just had a breath mint or are chewing on a piece of fruity gum, um, that's, that's a bad sign. So uh, I think I mentioned trouble losing weight as well. And it's um, something that is easy to figure out as far as your annual blood test is concerned. Your, uh, it's called your hemoglobin A1C. There's a more of a narrow range that we like to see it in here at Root Cause Medical Clinics, but um, you, you want to definitely find out if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic. Now, if you're told you're pre-diabetic, then you can might as well consider yourself diabetic because um, it's, it's too loose a gauge really for uh, pre-diabetes. You want to be, you know, you want your doctor to look at your level and go, wow, that's perfect, you know, this, <laughs> that is unassailably wonderful. And, and then you're safe. But if it's like, well, it's creeping up there, then you're already there. It's already something you need to jump on. But what's also exciting is that it's not difficult to get this under control. You can have type 2 diabetes for years and reverse it. The, the body is very generous that way. It loves to heal. It loves to repair. So some um, basic dietary changes, lifestyle changes, sometimes nutritional changes where we come at it from as many um, viewpoints as we need to to get your blood sugar level under control. Uh, but it is so very worth it to make those steps. So if you're already uh, diabetic or pre-diabetic, and I'm talking about type 2 here, not type 1, which is an autoimmune disease, so that's a, a different category. Um, but type 2 diabetes or, or pre-diabetes, as I mentioned, uh, you're ha or you're having some of these symptoms, and if your doctor has said something about, oh, we'll just kind of watch your glucose level or we'll watch your hemoglobin A1C, again, already too late. Unless uh, for a conventional doctor, as I said, unless they're sort of raving about how fabulous your level is, uh, it's probably 
getting into the risky zone because they, they have a very, uh, they're, they're too generous in, in, in their concern um, as far as their, I, I guess it sh I should say it a different way. They're not, they're not, they don't get concerned enough, fast enough um, in, in this regard. So uh, if you know you're having some of these symptoms or you've been told your levels are sort of getting into a zone that's not optimal, then um, feel free to reach out to us. We have clinics in California and Florida. We do telemedicine across the country. And factually, this is not a hard problem to resolve as long as you're ready to make some diet and lifestyle changes. And we're here to hold your hand um, at Root Cause Medical Clinics and make that a reality.